relaxed you are, the more able you are to recruit every aspect of your body. So a lot of people, you know, they're tense up here, they're tense in the shoulders, they're thinking, I want to fight. We're all about not fighting, right? And that's not just this passive thing where I'm saying, well, you know, I just, you know, want to, you know, just not deal with you. No, we want to deal with the person, but we don't want them to focus on us or escalate aggression or even give them something to fight. Because if I want to engage someone else and I'm going back at them with, uh, you know, some kind of tension or anger or aggression, then they're going to be able to fight you. When you're doing your strikes, I want you to be really, really conscious of how your body is moving, how you're generating that power. Really, what I'm talking about here is not trying to hit this other person. What I'm trying to do is make them think about themselves. We'll borrow anyone, whoever, whoever wants to learn the most. Okay. Good. There you go. Next time, next time. Ah, I like it. But, you know, if I'm presenting a, 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 a posture that's you know, compliant, relaxed, non-aggressive. We talk about this stuff. I mean, I know this is not the first time you've heard this, but a lot of times when I talk about making a strike or other people like start to strike, their body changes. I don't want you to change. I want you to stay passive mentally, and I want that to bleed into how you're striking and how you generate power. Just think about how your body generates that, whether starting with the shoulder here, you can rotate your arm through, okay? I'm not hitting, I'm touching you, okay, at different levels. And as you do this, watch how your body has to generate that power. Notice what I'm not doing. You're not winding up. Not winding up. And that's what I was hoping you guys were doing. And your hand feels heavy. It still feels heavy, though. And that's important because my body is relaxed and I'm able to put that in there. I want it to be. It is because, you know, he was figuring some things out how to recruit the body. If you watch Bruce Lee as he's doing it, he wasn't doing this. The body has to put something behind it, otherwise there's nothing there. You can't just like pull things out from the universe and place it in them. What your body has is all it has. And just like we were talking about before, you, you don't have more mass until you pick something up and use it, which is great if you can access it. But what you want to do is when you're going to put some energy into them, don't take anything away. Don't fight yourself for the possibility of what this is. But I want you to actually make this contact so that you can feel what needs to move. If you're tense, you'll feel it with your hand. I want you to think, I need to relax, and as I flow with this, this hand's gonna come out. So again, I'm creating this wave. So we're gonna be heavy handed, but again, don't go here. I want it to be here, okay? Now, did you see what he, what he did there? What did he do? He hit me back, right? By using the torque that you imparted to him. He thought about that, but it didn't actually happen. He thought about it. I don't want to mechanically just hinge on that and hit him back. Okay? That has some potential. And I'm not saying it's wrong, but that's an immature version of what we're trying to achieve. What we want is not to treat our body like a, a, a fixed object that's just a level. He pushes, I smack him back. I want it to be soft and wave-like like we were doing before. Because when we're soft, then it gives us possibilities. If he's hitting and I'm soft, then we can start turning into all the other fun things that we like to do. Actually, literally think about the energy that's being imparted to yourself as, as a tangible thing. And I want you to actually think about it moving through your body, thinking about where it's going. It could be a little bit quicker. He could hit. You guys hear Thomas breathing? And he's experiencing this and he's breathing that loud. You guys should be breathing that loud. <laughs> we just thought he wasn't <laughs> used to <laughs> So right here, I mean, when we're doing this heavy-handed kind of movement, it's here. There's, I mean, it's not something that's just here and I'm thinking about just hurting him. I just, I want to give him a little gift. It's going to be right inside you. I think my gift will be tomorrow when I have bruises. <laughs> Feel that and give it back to him. Again. Breathe. We're a bag of jello in real life. We are. I mean, we got a lot of fluid in us, and the fluid is different viscosities. You know, the, the, your muscles have fluid in it. And when you tense it, when you impart a, a wave energy into it, and then you tense it, that means it stays in there. It doesn't get to go away. It resonates in you. Uh, and so you feel it for a long time. If you open up the bag of jello and let it all smear around, the energy dissipates because the, it's not as focused. So the waves 
stretch themselves out. If you're having trouble giving it back, don't at first. I'd rather you receive it and move properly and then learn how to move it away from you. I'm, I'm watching this just from a real critical, yeah, I'm watching that. Yeah. Are you guys seeing circles there? Depending on where that energy takes him, he allows the natural course of how long to take to get back in there. He doesn't try to force it, which will shorten that energy flow. That was really... Or stop it completely, which is what often happens when you're thinking tense, when you're thinking fight.